So I'm not sure if this has ever happened to you guys before, but it's happened to me in the past where I'm in the middle of a measurement session, cranking through hundreds of dimensions, sweating, figuring out how I'm going to get this done by the end of the day, and a client will come into the into the lab or, uh, or somebody from leadership will say, hey, hey, I need, uh, I need a quick report, I need a quick uh, summary of, of a certain area of this tool or of this part that you're measuring up. Okay, so I've got this, uh, this big tool, huge tool, <laughs> up on my screen here. And just for example here, I'm going to go through on quick reporting. Uh, say you just need a small bit of information and you're not quite finished with the entire measurement session yet, but yet you'd still like to get some information back to the hands of leadership so they can make some decisions or they can go into a meeting and do a small presentation. So quick reporting works out awesome for that. So what I can do is I will say that this area here is of importance to me. So what I'll do is I'll do a small window in. I'll W key, window in to that area. We'll just say that these four points are of of importance right now that the um, that the client says, hey, I got, I've got to present this or email that out to somebody where that part of the tool is. So what you can do is say, no problem. I will get you that info. You can go to File, Review Features. And I have no idea what I've named those points because I've got a bazillion points out there. So what I'll say is, let me choose them from the screen. And I'll click with my left mouse key until it finds it. There's a few things out there. So it's that point there. This point here. This guy up top here. And this fourth point right there. Okay, once I've got those highlighted, I can hit my right mouse key. And it brings me back out to review features. And there they are. Those are the four points that are of importance right now for a quick report. Okay, well what you do then is they're highlighted in my in my review features. Just go right down here to quick reporting and hit print. And there it comes up. I had my picture box enabled, which brings up what's on my screen. So it's showing this area right here. It does get a little bit messy. There's a lot of wireframe there. And my four points that are, are of importance right now are in my report. So just a quick way of grabbing those four points and putting them out to a report format. And I can do save right here and uh, save out that information as another MHT file. Um, one thing to note here though too is that what you don't get, you don't get all of the information that goes into the graphical text report header information. It's just a quick snapshot in time on, uh, on this area of the tool or of these points that are important right now. So again, you can do the save and name it whatever you'd like to. And again, it saves an, as an MHT format, the Microsoft Hypertext format. So I'll just say, uh, I'll call it Tool Block 13 Location. And I'll save that out. So then I can just hand that off to my client or, um, or to leadership and say, OK, you're off and running. And then just say OK and OK. And then you can start measuring again from that location uh, or from wherever you left off before you were so rudely interrupted for information. Or I tell you what, the other thing I've done here is take a look at my background. I have changed my background color to, uh, to a lighter gray just because I did want to print out that area. When I do a printout, uh, like a quick report or even a graphical text report, when the background is black, the, uh, the eye just comes out as, as a yellow and it's very hard to see. And I'm sending most of my reports to a color printer to show the arrows, the arrows in color, whether they be yellow or red or no arrows at all in my reports. But um, I just don't like the, the way the picture shows up. So I do the color background change to this lighter gray and just play with the colors a little bit just to, uh, just to optimize what it looks like on your view. If you haven't played with the layers command, which is up in this area here or under the view Pull down menu layers. Um, there's another module that will go through all of that content, so feel free to pull that one up right now, or um, or just go ahead and play with this quick reporting until you've got the hang of that. 
but it's a very good way just to get information quickly into the hands of somebody that needs that info. 